Okay, guys, we have true false not given now. Questions 22 to 27, and then we will go back to 14 to 16, okay? All right, question number 22. It has been suggested that salt was responsible for the first war. Now, you read about war already. Come back. Salt was responsible for the first war. Come to paragraph 4. Baloch also believed, found it? Baloch also believed that the first war likely fought near the ancient city of Assault on the Jordan River could have been fought over the city's precious supplies of the mineral. Mineral means salt. So what's the question? It has been suggested that salt was responsible for the first war. Answer is true. Exactly. Very good. Okay, question number 23. Uh, the first tax on salt was imposed by a Chinese emperor. Uh, okay, let's go back. Where is the answer? Paragraph number 5. Alright, now let's see. In 2000 BC, Chinese emperor Hisa Yu Levite, one of the first known taxes, one of the first known taxes, it was not the first tax, it was one of the first known taxes. What is the question? The first tax. Now we don't know. They said one of the first known taxes. But there is no mention whether the tax was first or second or third. So the answer is? It should be. This might be confusing. You might think, okay, they have written first tax on salt. But there they say first known taxes. First known taxes ke jo taxes jane jate hain, un mein se pehla. But it wasn't the first one. Okay? Yeah. Answer is not given. Question number 24. Salt is no longer used as a form of currency. Look for the word currency. Notes, money. Currency. Found it? Same paragraph number 5. Can you see the word money? Okay, now let's see that. I'm going to read paragraph number five. And we read it from... Uh, okay, let's read it from Tibet. Tibet Marco Polo noted that tiny cakes of salt were pressed with images of the Grand Khan to be used as coins. And to this day, what does it mean? To this day means still. Excellent. Underline it. To this day, among the nomads of Ethiopia... Uh, Dynacal plans, it is still used as money. What is the question? Salt is no longer used. There they say it is still used. So the answer is false. Well done. Got it? No longer used and still used. Okay, now let's see. Question number 25. Most of the money for construction of Erie Canal came from salt taxes. Look here. If they say 70% money came from salt taxes, 70% means most of the money, then it can be true, right? If they say 70% money came from other sources and they don't mention salt or salt taxes, then the answer is false. And if they don't tell us the majority of money came from where, then the answer is the clue word is Eri Canal. Now let's look for Eri Canal. Well done. I'm reading from there. Please follow me. Paragraph 7. Erie Canal, an engineering marvel that connected this and that. I'm reading on. 1825 was called the ditch that salt built. Okay. Salt takes revenues paid for half the cost. Yes. Now tell me, is the half majority? No. no. Half the cost. In the question, they say most of the money. Half does not mean most of the money. Most of the money can be 70, 80, 90 percent. So the answer is false. Clear? Most of the money and half the money. They are opposite. That is why the answer is false. Question number 26. Hopi legend believes that salt deposits were placed far away from civilization. From civilization means from people. Salt deposits... Uh, were placed far away from civilization to penalize mankind. Penalize means punish, to punish the people. 
So let's go back, Hopi legends. Where is it? Paragraph 9. Paragraph nine. Okay, I'm reading it from fourth line, last word, Hopi legends. Found it? Paragraph 9, fourth line onwards. Hopi legends hold uh, holds that the angry warrior twins punished mankind by placing valuable salt deposits far from civilization. What is the question? Hopi legends believe that salt deposits were placed far away from civilization to penalize mankind, to punish mankind. This is true, absolutely. Question number 27. Lack of salt is connected with the deaths of many Napoleon soldiers. Clue word? Napoleon soldiers. Clue word? Yeah. Napoleon soldiers during the French retreat from Moscow. If you know history, then you know this thing, okay? So let's go back. Last paragraph. Okay, now please come to paragraph number 10, fourth line. Thousands of Napoleon's troops, troops means soldiers, died during the French retreat from Moscow due to inadequate wound healing and lowered resistance to disease. The result of salt deficiency. So what's the question? Lack of salt. What is the word for lack of salt? Salt deficiency. Exactly. The answer is true.